Open RAN has become a very hot topic in the past 12 to 18 months, but Mavenir has been talking about its potential and developing products for more than four years already. Uh, to find out what the company thinks of current market trends and how it's positioning itself in a sector increasingly open to disaggregated network architectures, I'm talking today with Stefano Cantarelli, Chief Marketing Officer at Mavenir. So uh, Stefano, thanks for joining us today. Um, Mavenir's vision statement is one network, any cloud, all software. Can you tell us what this means for the company and for the industry in general? Sure, Ray. Thank you very much for this question. Um, you said yourself, uh, Mavenir has been talking for a long time about Open RAN, but more in general has been talking about uh, a vision of a single network, uh, which is Cloudify, so based on uh, any cloud, and it's all software. And it, this has been uh, our vision for quite a long time, but um, at the very early days, we had to attract the attention on some of the key benefits. You remember, we were about transforming the network economics. Now that uh, after four years, we came a long way, and we are sitting on most of all tables with uh, the big uh, tier one vendors, uh, um, it's time now to look at from a different angle. The vision is about trusting the future and go for a transformation that is really going to change the telecommunication in a way that we have never seen before. So when we look at uh, one network, what we mean is that we want a convergent network. We don't want layer of la legacy networks which are not well integrated into each other. The second thing of course on any cloud, uh, we are fundamentally cloud native, which is uh, one of the most important component of this transformation. And the cloud native can be either on a public or on a private cloud. We're, we're, we're seeing the different trends in the, in the actual market. And to, final, to finalize, of course, is all software, because uh, we believe that means agility. Um, without, of course, saying that we don't need the hardware. We always need hardware, but we rely on um, a, you know, commercial off-the-shelf uh, hardware, which uh, our software runs on too. And this is really where it comes. So these visions, Avenir is trying to implement it by creating the future of network with a single network automated and all cloud native and software. That's the most important thing. Okay, with all that in mind, I mean, we hear a lot about the need for operators to re-architect their networks. Uh, can you tell us how cloud native software plays a key role in enabling this transformation? You see, um, Networks has been built as uh, extensions of a previous generation networks. Uh, uh, operators has been struggling to think how broadband, mobile broadband networks should be really being built. And uh, what happens are two things. The first one is that up till today, a lot of the infrastructure that they have been deploying are strictly, uh, strictly tightened between uh, um, hardware and software. So this uh, these, uh, uh, fact has actually um, brought some benefit at the beginning, of course, because when we were at the very early days, what has happened is that uh, um, there was a need to, to try this technology that wasn't really, um, wasn't really in the field. We're talking about, of course, 20, uh, 20 years ago. But with the time, fundamentally, what happened is that a, a few number of vendors have been tidied in and uh, to some extent, uh, they have been slowing down some of the uh, revolutions in the, in the space. Now, when you come up uh, to virtualization, which is really the key technology that we are looking at in order to uh, base the whole transformation, what happens is that uh, you all of a sudden you disaggregate and you separate the hardware from the software. In this way, first of all, you make use of hardware which is uh, uh, available in very, very big volumes so coming from IT space and so on. And in other cases with the software instead, you bring in completely new uh, characters in the industry uh, which are actually very agile in the space of writing software, which, as you know, has a completely different uh, cycle than uh, designing hardware. And Mavenir is one of those. Mavenir 
as uh, you know, a very strong history in uh, very agile uh, software writing. And, um, and that's uh, one of the main things that uh, brings uh, uh, the operator to actually think in a different way. Now, the re-architecturing of the network is just not this, but it's also the way natural needs to be deployed and needs to be provided to the actual end user. So there are capabilities like uh, we have heard a lot with 5G, like natural slicing, where you actually make use of physical resources and you uh, are able to virtually separate uh, um, uh, capa capacities and capabilities in order to provide different type of services to different end user, whether those users are consumer, but also and especially in the enterprises in the industry space, because we have seen that with 5G uh, is becoming really um, prevalent, uh, this, uh, um, this trend to look at private networks. So from that point of view, you can see how the virtualization, bring, which is the same as the cloud native, so it's the ability to put software on a standard uh, commercial off-the-shelf uh, hardware, is actually bringing a completely new approach. And the approach needs to end up to automation because automation is the real ultimate goal of virtualization where, as we said, you disaggregate hardware and software, but at the same time, you introduce all those capabilities, the automation, and artificial intelligence and machine learning can bring to help the human, the operators, to run the network in the most efficient way possible. Yeah, absolutely. Automation are really high on the list of all uh, operator requirements and goals. Um, and tied in with that, I mean, uh, Open RAN seems to be on everybody's agenda. I mean, from governments to network operators to radio access network vendors and other vendors as well, of course. Uh, can you give us your perspective of the current state of the market? Uh, thank you, Ray. So f first of all, uh, as you said, it's uh, we have been talking about Open RAM for a long time and we are so happy that this has gone on uh, everywhere in the, not only in the industry itself, but uh, also in the government and so on, because they understand the potential of what it could do to the economies and how to create a diversification in the supply chain, um, which has been a bit restricted because of several reasons in the mobile industry. So we think uh, Open RAN is the last step, uh, you know, of a full virtualization of the network in the sense that uh, uh, virtualization has already started in the core space, but in the open run has been uh, last to come. So it's very important because uh, if you want to have a, a real uh, 5G network, you have to have a full virtualization from head to toe or whatever you want to say completely. Um, so open run uh, is ready to go. The technology has been trialed uh, you know, for two or three years, and now it's time for deployment. We have seen some early deployment of early version of Open Run, and now we're starting to see real Open Run, uh, virtualized uh, run, and we call it Open V Run. Uh, you know, in places like, uh, for example, Dish, which is going to uh, launch our services later this year and for which uh, Mavenir is one of the main vendors. So we think uh, the technology is ready. So it's not a question about maturity. Of course, the more you deploy, the more you learn. And so from that point of view, it's important that we keep on deploying, deploying in volume. But the other important things, which to me is the most essential one, we need to change the mindset. And we know that changing the mindset uh, of the people is the most difficult. We need to embrace that future. We need to trust the future on building the network that are fully virtualized and cloud native and automated. That's really what I think it makes a difference. Okay, excellent. And, and like you say, I think we're just at the start of the, the, the next stage of Open RAN and there's a lot more action and activity to come. Uh, Stefano, great to talk to you again today. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. It's been my pleasure, Ray.